what is the value of D and C, given that you have CD equals 48, C plus D equals 2. Then let's have it to be solution. From here we have CD equals 48, then C plus D equals 2. If we name this to be 1, we name this to be 2. Then from these two, we can have C to be equals 2 minus D. Let's name this to be 3. Then when we substitute this equation 3 into equation 1, so we are going to have 3 into 1. So we have 1, CD to be equals 48. So from here we have our C to be equals this, meaning we have 2 minus D, in parentheses multiply by D equals 48. 2 times D we have 2D, minus times plus here is minus, D times this will be D to the power of 2, D square equals 48. So from here, let's take this 48 to the other side. So we are going to have 2D minus D square minus 48. Then let's set everything to be equal to 0. So we want to eliminate this negative. Let's multiply 2 by minus. Here will be minus. Then multiply the whole of this 2D minus D square minus 48 equals minus times 0. So this time this will be 2D minus 2D plus D square minus times minus will be plus plus 48 equals 0 times 0 times this. Let's rearrange this expression to look as quadratic format. So we are going to have D square first minus 2D plus 48 equals 0. Then we have to solve for the value of D here. So recall from the quadratic formula, when we have A x squared plus B x plus C that equals zero, we normally have D to be equals, from here we say we have x minus B positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. But in our own, we are looking for what? d. So we are going to check this format here to be d. Then each parameter, we are going to find it out from here. Then parameter a is the coefficient of d squared, which is 1. Then this parameter b is the coefficient of d, which is minus 2. Then parameter c is the constant of quadratic, which is 48. So from here we have d to be equals minus into minus 2, positive or negative root of minus 2 in parentheses, into power of 2, 4 times A is 1, times C, 48. All divided by 2. So we have D. Minus times minus will be plus 2. Positive or negative, square root of. From here we have 4. Minus 4 times this. We have 48 times 4. This is 32. From here we have 2. This and this is 10 plus this. We have. So we have 4 times 4, 16. Plus 3, we have 19, 192. So minus 192 over 2. So we have D, 2, positive or negative square root of. We have. 
4 minus 192, here will be minus 180. So from here, we have D, 2, positive or negative. This will be 1, 4 minus 192, here will be minus 188 over 2. So we have D, 2, positive or negative. You can have this as minus 1 times 188 can be simplified as 4 times 47 over 2. So from here, we have D, 2, positive or negative, square root of minus 1 times square root of 4 times square root of 47 over 2. Now let us recall that when we have square root of minus 1 always equals i, then also square root of 4, 4 is a perfect square, you can have it as square root of 2 to the power of 2, this will cancel this, so we are going to have here to be 2. So from here we have d, 2, positive or negative, here will be i times, here will be square root of 2 to the power of 2 times square root of 47 over 2. So we have d, 2, positive or negative, times i, times this, we cancel this, 2, times root of 47 over 2. So from here, we have d, 2, positive or negative, 2 multiplied by root of 47, i, over 2. So by dividing 2 by 2, Divide through by 2. So we are going to have D 2 over 2 positive or negative 2 multiplied by root of 47i over 2. So we have D. This we cancel this, we have 1 positive or negative. This we cancel this, we have root of 47i. So from here, our d equals 1 plus, plus a negative root of 47i. So we have this i. This implies we have a complex solution. So we can say we have d1 to be 1 plus root of 47i. Then you have d2 equals 1 minus root of 47i. I. So if you are new here and find this video interesting, don't forget to share, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more math tutorial videos. So to check for the complex solution, recall we have CD equals 48, then C plus D equals 2. So from here, we have D to be equals 1 plus root of 47i. So then let's recall that we have C to be equals 2 minus d. So we have c. When d equals this, we have 2 minus 1 plus root of 47i. So we have c. 2 minus 1 will be 1 plus root of 47i. So when D also equals 1 plus root of 47i. 
also we have d to be equals 1 minus root of 47i then we have c to be equals 2 minus d so from here here will be minus sorry when we open with minus here will be minus then here will be minus as well then here will be minus so and here will be 2 minus into 1 minus root of 47i. So here will now be c equals 1. Here will be plus root of 47i. Meaning that we have c to be 1 plus root of 47i. Then d will be equals 1 minus root of 47i, the first one. When we also have c equals 1 minus root of 47i, then d will be equals 1 plus root of 47i.